Hello YouTube, this is Great1707 here, and uh, today we're going to be installing an operating system and creating a new partition on a portion of a hard drive. We're going to be installing Windows 8, not from a CD, but I'll explain how to do it from a CD too. Um, so we're first going to start by, if you're running Windows 7 like I am, go to the Start menu and create and type in create and format and oh, excuse me and it should be the first one create and format hard disk partition so this page will open showing your hard drives and the partitions you have created what I'm going to do and I would recommend it if possible I would I'm going to get my biggest the hard drive that has the biggest capacity or the largest capacity and the one I don't use as much or at all basically I'm going to pick my data hard drive which is D it has 254 and it's 88% free my operating system C drive is 65% uh, free and has 186 gigabytes so what we're going to do is select the partition right click it and then click shrink volume uh, volume excuse me it's going this dialog box is going to show up and it's going to say the total size before shrink, the size available to shrink, the amount of space you want to shrink, and the total size after shrink. So I want to give 35 gigabytes, and we're going to go to Google, and we're going to type in 35 gigabytes to megabytes. And it's going to give us 35,840 megabytes. Um, I mean, get, uh, yeah, megabytes, sorry. <laughs> now we're going to go back to our disk management window. I'm going to close this out and we're going to input this in there and it's going to tell us the total size after shrink in megabytes which is 224,995 megabytes so now we're going to click shrink it's going to partition it and as you see here's a 35 gigabyte unallocated uh, portion of my data hard drive so now you want to right click it and click new simple volume and we're going to format it it's going to show you the maximum disk space in megabytes the minimum disk space and the simple volume in megabytes which you want to be identical to the maximum disk space to get the most out of your space or all your space so now you can drive you can assign the drive a letter you can mount in the following empty NTFS folder or you don't even have to uh, assign a drive letter or path so we're going to install I mean um, put it as E like it is here we're going to click next now you don't have to format it but we're going to do this because it's unallocated and won't let me install anything on here so you can choose your file system and we're going and your allocation unit size which I'm just going to put default and we're going to name it the volume label I'm going to name it Windows 8 and you can do a quick format and you can even enable file and folder compression if you want to I'm not going to do that so I'm going to click next it's going to show you your settings and we're going to finish it it's going to format and it's going to be done like right now. Hold on. Cool. See, here it is. It's going to give you the option to open. And it's going to show up on my computer. Windows 8E, 34.9 gigabytes free. I'm going to close this, and I'm going to close this. Now, if you have a, an installation CD for an operating system, re insert it now and restart your computer and enter the setup and install it on the partition you just created. If you have an installation on your computer like I do here, I'm going to go in here, open up the installation, and we're going to install it. It's going to copy temporary, fi temporary files and it's going to start up. We're going to wait for that. Okay, I'm going to install the updates. You do not have to. I'm going to do it. It's going to download it, and just please note you need to be connected to the internet while it uh, installs updates. Sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast. You can pause the video. Um, accept the license terms. I never read them. Extremely wrong. Okay. Now, if you want to upgrade your whole computer to Windows 8 or whatever operating system you're going to install, you can click upgrade, keep your file settings and applications, 
we're going to do a custom install and it allows you to format a partition here I cannot install it under recovery here's our Windows 8 we just created 35 gigabytes I can install it here but I want everything on there I want everything on here it's Windows 7 I cannot install this here because this is a system and it's this one is reserved so we're going to install it on the partition 5 Windows 8 drive E we're going to click next it's going to install it uh, my computer is going to restart a few times so I'll be back when I have Windows 8 configured and set up so be right back okay so I'm back here with Windows 8 I love this operating system and so let me just briefly explain it um, Windows 8 during the setup everything gets explained the basics get explained during the setup while um, it's getting the computer ready up in the upper left corner you have your recent apps or app that you were just in down here you have your start menu um, if you go up here and slide down it shows PC settings which I'm gonna be going through in a minute um, upper left and bottom right left upper right and bottom right are the same thing you have your settings devices start share and search so we're gonna go to PC settings I'm not very sure how to get in here yet so here in personalize you get your lock screen start screen and your account picture and here's everything in here um, so this is going to conclude how to install Windows 8 and how to partition your hard drive thanks for watching be sure to rate comment subscribe thank you